Hi everyone, it's Bitcoin from The Big Chubowski. Um, the video title's not a joke. I am, in fact, fighting my girlfriend. So for all you men out there, you know, I've already lost the match. It doesn't matter what happens, what, whether I win or lose, I lose. Uh, yeah, it's not a joke. Ashen Soul is my guildmate, but actually also my girlfriend, uh, who introduced me to this game a very long time ago. And uh, we started playing it together and have been in the same arena shard, same payout even. So uh, yeah, it's really quite nice to be able to sort of share this experience. I consider myself a very lucky guy until CG decided to pair me up with Ashen here, who has a 390k lifetime score, not too dissimilar from mine at 400k. Now that's been entirely her doing. Uh, I can probably count on two hands the number of times she's asked me for advice of any kind or uh, help. She really does this all by herself and uh, to a lot of my guildmates it will come as a surprise that she's my girlfriend because we never really talked about this. Uh, she didn't really want it to be a thing where she gets some kind of preferential treatment because of this or uh, I don't know that, that people look differently at her. So uh, she's been a strong independent woman like that. Yeah really quite crazy that my first double galactic legend that I'm fighting, uh, she just got her supreme leader Kylo Ren with a non-ultimate is also my girlfriend. I mean, just the fact that I'm fighting my girlfriend here is completely insane. Uh, so thanks for that, CG. Now, in terms of speed, I mean, if I look at the, the roster, I said that uh, she's very self-sufficient. The only thing she really doesn't like is modding. So I know the modding on a lot of these characters uh, very well, as I've done a very large part of it. And uh, even looking at the board, some of the themes I recognize very well because uh, I know exactly where she got those. So in some ways it's funny. Uh, we had some conversations about this at the start of the week when we noticed we were in the same bracket. And also wondering, of course, if we were going to end up facing each other in the finals as there was one a very strong opponent who uh, she had to fight in the second round. And can show you real quick here. So she won that one by two banners, which is an absolutely tiny difference. She attacked first, being super efficient. The guy kept almost everything for offense, uh, but then in the end got insanely close to her score. So uh, we almost missed out on fighting each other here. Uh, but yeah, she did a really good job there of still pulling out the win. So uh, fighting her then now, I mean, we've got, like we've discussed, what do we want to do? And one of the things that we realized was that sort of her default mode for this match would be to set both of her Galactic Legends on defense in separate zones to try to block me from clearing any zones at all. That would give her the biggest chance of success. But at the same time, my Dark Revan is faster than hers uh, and has more relics on the team. So she would be forced to double shot that as well, like I would be forced to double shot her non-ultimate Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And then I would put my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on defense in the other zone. So essentially, the sort of the default mode for both of us to try to win would be super banner inefficient. We would just go insanely hard on defense and best case scenario, one of us or both of us managed to clear one of the front zones and then the zone behind, but that's really it. So we had a talk about this and we figured that the best solution to get out of this would be for us to keep our Galactic Legends for offense. And I know she has two and that might sound like uh, it's unfair towards her, but that does mean that she has two of the strongest teams in the game on offense, which breaks my ability, which you have seen me demonstrate a lot, to prevent my opponents from full clearing. So I won't be able to do that if she has that much firepower on offense. And as well, the fact that if I set my Supreme Leader Kyler on defense, uh, she wouldn't be able to kill that either with what she's got due to the modding, etc. So uh, it seemed in both of our best interests to agree to keep it for offense. And the second rule is to set one weak team on defensive level once in front of ships. That's what we also agreed upon for defeat. And that's it really. For the rest, we decided you can just go all out, figure out what you want to do. Now she's a very, very competitive player. Um, to the extent that I think ideally she would want me to uh, fight and then sort of lose without showing that I actually let her win in some way. Uh, if that makes any sense. So she wants to like really just legit beat me, uh, but wouldn't mind either if I just end up doing something stupid and then pull off the win. But uh, yeah, this is pretty crazy. I'm just gonna get into it, show you the map. Now I'm gonna not say some of the teams that I attack certain teams with out loud, because she's in the other room and I'm sure she can hear and is carefully listening to every word I'm saying. 
to try to get an insight on uh, what's in the back, so uh, I'm not gonna reveal that just yet. Then over on her defense, she set a somewhat similar Knight's History team, but with Spirit instead of Talzin. Then very strong First Order, seeing all those relics is uh, quite intimidating. The level 1s then, as mentioned, and then also Shack clones with the exact same clones. And then in the bottom here, we've got Grievous, Droidica, and Magna Guard, which is what I've often said in the past. So, uh, like I said, I recognize some of these teams very well. Newt, B1, B2, there you have it. And then General Skywalker, Rex, and Fives. Uh, and I can hear my girlfriend sneezing in the next room, so bless her. Uh, yeah, that's what I have to get through to see the back, and I have no idea what to expect of the back. It could be that this is a trap and she has set Darth Revan behind, which uh, wouldn't surprise me too much. Uh, or that she split him up across different teams. Uh, I don't really know, but either way, sending in my Supreme Leader Kylo in the front here seems like a risky move. So I'm not quite sure what to do there. Uh, I'm just going to get started with that <laughs> very easy match first because otherwise I might risk misremembering and not sending in, or just forgetting rather. I don't think misremembering is a thing. Uh, and just send in the three troopers here so I can send in, I don't know, these three. Should be fine. The three weakest, I suppose. And uh, get it going. Oh, I've got the new background here. Uh, the only thing I didn't consider too well is that uh, <laughs> Look at that, they're almost going to take a turn here. So that these guys don't have AoE, but actually Magma does. Alright, so that's the 54 for defeat. Let me just check whether it came through. I'm not going to claim it, because I think it's definitely going to put me into the next league. Yeah, I've got that done. Alright, then in the bottom zone over here, now the Droidica is actually quite annoying, because it complicates some of the ideas that I had to deal with this team. Uh, which is why I set it myself as well. So I'll have to think about that one a little bit longer. But I'll start by going up against this Newt team. And again, I'm not gonna speak about my counter out loud, because she has to deal with the same, and I'm not sure if she knows about this one. So I'll let her figure that one out herself. So I'm uh, just gonna send in these three, and that should hopefully work just fine. So maybe my commentary will be a little bit limited here and there. Uh, as I'm trying to not give too much away. So do that, make sure I get him down first. Although this guy is healing quite a lot. So I may have to change plan there. Uh, let's see if I can do this though. Yeah, I should be able to take him down now. There we go. Then I can do that. Don't want him to take the final turn there as he's gonna strip a whole bunch of banners if I let him do that. So I'll just cleanse that. I don't think I'll be able to recover. There's uh, too much damage in general. Okay, he's gone. Yep, that's it. So a bit ugly on banners, but I got through it. And then I'll have to figure out the other ones now I'm really like the that went a bit quick So I'm just thinking what I want to do with the Grievous team. I'm gonna fight this one next Now pay attention to the speed over here That's pretty dang specific So I'm gonna do this So yeah, that's going to be an interesting one, see if I can uh, manage to get through. Not really sure how I feel about this fight, it's definitely one of the trickier ones of the round. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Dang, of course. Ugh. That is a pretty awful start. Well, we'll see if I'm able to uh, turn it around in some way. Okay, that's good. Now let's see what we can do. 
Oh, that's gonna take a while. Oh boy. That's substantially quicker than I'd like it to be. Uh, to not get that hit in here, I'm just gonna attack that one. Oh boy, that's really bad. That was so much quicker than... Well, I guess that's what happens with the whole opening sequence there. That is uh, hugely problematic for me. And I'm sure she's chuckling in the other room right now after hearing those words. Yeah, this is gonna be a full wipe here, I think. That's pretty unfortunate. Maybe I can take something down here. Oh, I gotta heal more. Please don't counter on the wrong one, thank you. Okay. That's a pretty close call. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that would end that way. Alright, well, that could have been a lot worse. I bet she's rubbing our little Ewok hands right now after seeing the results. Uh, I'll have to see what I want to do with that. So I think I'm just going to risk this one. I might end up regretting that, but uh, I think I'll have to send in these three. For the risk obviously being the Droidica. Uh, no good way around that. And depending on who gets attacked there, that could end really poorly. But uh, I don't really see a good other way to uh, deal with it. So let's go with these. All right, so gonna do this. Gonna adopt those buffs. Uh, maybe just try and burn through him a bit quicker. Yeah, this is sort of the issue that I was uh, hinting at. Maybe I can get him down here, probably not. I should be able to, just before the move, yep, okay. So that reduces the incoming damage significantly. And then, now I can sort of take this, spread that. Yeah, that ended up okay. I was hoping it would be that way. Oh, that was a quick kill. All right, now I just have to wait this one out. Not try to take too many turns. Let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I think I'll call him. He should be full, that's 53, all right. That could have been worse. Now I have to deal with this guy. 229. Let me just check some of my other plans before uh, proceeding. Try to uh, deal with it that way. It should be fine. Yep. Let's do it. Mm, let's see here. Probably do that or this one for the extra. Now first do this one, then that one, and then this one. Yep. Okay, very curious about the back zone now. Yeah, I expected this Finn team. That's really no surprise. Uh, the Night Sister team, okay. And the veterans, that should be an interesting one as well. So quite a lot of relics on defense still. And then Padme, uh, it was going to be either that or Darth Revan. Right, that's a lot of teams to get through. Better get started. But maybe do like a minute of planning here first and see uh, how I want to proceed. And also sort of maybe make a little bit of an estimation of how far she can get against me with what she kept for offense. Hi guys, it's Ash and Soul here from the Big Chubowski. 
as uh, Bitcoin would introduce himself. Um, yeah, about to do a grand arena that's either gonna go amazingly well or horribly bad. Um, yeah, so I guess let's get started. I don't really like the long-winded uh, intro that Bitcoin does, so I'm just gonna get right into it. Maybe actually <laughs> to explain what the fuck I did. Um, I try to keep for offense the teams that are most likely to max banners. So those that had some kind of protection recovery or um, that could just, you know, be the other team without it taking a turn. But that was not always possible, so, you know, we do with what we have. Um, right, so what do we do here? Well, this kind of going to be a mirror match, more or less. Not with that ugly Zelber dude. Outgrown Ewok. And I'm nervous as fuck because I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked, but you know. Hmm. Actually, this is gonna be too soon. P14, that means... 5 times 8, that's 40... Yeah, that's just falling short. My plan is already falling apart. Then we start with something else. While I think of the other thing. Yeah, you know, in an ideal world that wouldn't happen, but again, we do what we can with what we have. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna bring Kira because she's gonna lose me banners. But look at this bitch losing me banners. Very sad. But I guess now Ness can do her magic. Or not. I should actually just put it in airplane mode. Because that's how it goes. That was... Okay. Well. Uh, I would rate that 6 out of 10. I mean passing just because we won the match, but... You know what? You know what? I modded this Malak for tenacity. Now is the moment for that tenacity to shine. If I regret this, I'll be... This is where I'll be salty. <laughs> Oh, look at that tenacity paying off. Yo, put some dots on me. Come on. Come on, put some dots on me. I don't like this guy. I don't like his shock. I don't like his potency. He's gonna do his cackle. I'm gonna put my phone in airplane mode because this is not looking good. Look at all that tenacity paying off. I 
I mean, once he has his free stacks, then it should better be paying off, but apparently not. At least that guy's dead. Oh, my banners, look at them flying away again. <laughs> Dude. Um, yeah. Bye, Bastilla. Yeah, you know, I've never used airplane mode so much in Grand Arena in my life. The bag better be good. Okay, before I open it, I bet my money that it's gonna be some stupid leader with spirit and zombie. Really, the stupidest leader you can imagine that has some foresight, stupid evasion foresight mechanic that is gonna make me want to pull out my hair and quit this game. That's what's gonna be in the back. Oh, and look, I have fewer banners. How is that even happening? Oh, wait, he killed the other team. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, right, so my money is on old Ben lead with spirit and zombie, or, you know. Why not make it Kenobi lead to give that uh, beautiful foresight to spirit even more? And then there's gonna be some stupid team with Malak in there that's just gonna make me hate everything or some Darth Revan Malak combination with with Fron so that I can't galactic legend it without hating my life, you know? But okay, th that's all... Um, yeah, th that's all uh, <laughs> we're gonna find out, but but the spirit zombie team, I have my money on it. Let's see. Oh, look, it's a Darth Revan leader and the Kenobi leader. I wonder what that's gonna be, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so it's not the uh, Fron team that I thought, but it is Kenobi, spirit and zombie. What a surprise. I'm so happy to be here. Right. Let's just pretend he's a stormtrooper. <laughs> Did I select the right team? Yes, I did. Oh look, Yeti Moon is almost taking a turn. We're gonna find out if he was a stormtrooper or not. Hey, look at that. He was a stormtrooper. And then I need to do three more, which is gonna come at another point. Okay, so now I need to think about my life and the choices I have made so far. Cool. I guess let's get on with it, starting with the things that I'm most worried about. This is unfortunate because then I won't have a second Jedi leader, which means that, well, you know what it means, I'm sure the team, but it should be fine. I shouldn't need it. Famous last words. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was kind of hoping for a kill and blow there. I guess that's not in the book. Yo, Magna, don't do that. You know, just be a good boy, get stunned or something, at least stop countering. Oh, that's not good. Out of everybody, it could have been, it ended up being my most useful character. <laughs> mm. At least that landed. Oh, shit. Uh, that was not happy for long. Mm. I mean, will he heal more than? No, I don't think he will heal more than. Oh, that healing immunity can really go and not be here <laughs> please reduce the term meter do not 
do that. Uh, oh yes, beautiful, yes, that's what I needed, thank you Bastilla for pulling through. On this day, you are the MVP. And Grandmaster Yoda has nothing on you, it doesn't matter that you're not a Grandmaster. Yourself, you are better, oh. What was that? Excuse me? I lost the better for that. That is such a troll move. I can't, you know, you know, it's fine. This is fine. This is fine. But that was horrible. But we'll move on with our lives. I even looked that he would be full health. I cannot. Oh. Uh, right, what was I doing here? Yeah, that guy. So, we don't want that guy to stealth or to revive. So, I have this theory. What, what speed do I have? I mean, it doesn't matter what speed he has. I do. Enemies with extortion, but he's not gonna get to put his extortion. He won't be revived because he is not going to. Okay, then his leadership is useless and his unique is useless because I will erase him from everything, right? With this beautiful team that I have put together in five minutes. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Uh, yeah. And hopefully nobody else erases me. Okay, so now we put this beauty on him. Blah, 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 blah whatever blah blah they will do the thing uh, i don't like those target locks but that look really weird for whatever reason <laughs> uh 50 percent meter means that uh, he will go before them too. So oh, that was not good. <laughs> that was really not good. So this plan is going perfect. Perfect, I'm telling you. Perfect. I would like to keep this guy stunned, but apparently he doesn't like that. And of course they dodge everything. Uh, perhaps I should have cleared the other guy. If I can keep healing him. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> this is the worst plan I've ever had. What? Um, what happened? No. Stun, please. Okay, or don't stun. I guess that also, again, stun. Yes, thank you. Gosh. Again, stun? Yes, thank you. This this is not ideal. Let's just say that. And if I dodge and uh, counter at the same time, that will be the end of it. This is horrible. I do not... Oh, sh Please. <laughs> Please, don't fuck up. <laughs> I missed the special there. Thank you, Stun. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Don't miss the special again. That's a very important special. Don't dodge. Don't trigger. Stun again. This is really stressful. This is the worst battle ever. I. Oh no, he doesn't have the defense down anymore. This is gonna be fun. Okay, I made it. He still doesn't have defense down. But I can make it. Perhaps. Now he has defense down. Now you need to counter. Don't trigger him. Don't put buff immunity. And he said, beautiful. Beautiful. This is horrible. That was a horrible idea. And that's going to be horrible banners. But, you know, it's all well when it ends well. Thank you, CLS, for pulling through <laughs> on this horrible day. I'm sorry I never mod you probably. If, if, oh, this is going to take ages. I should just pay attention. I have one minute left. Um... 
I said thank you, I promise to put something that's not green mods on you and possibly bring you up a relic, I think you're required for Jedi Knight look. I didn't even want to see how many banners that was, probably way too few. Um, I don't like any of this anymore. <laughs> I didn't like it from the beginning. But... So the plan is... Um, Geos. Um, yeah, just don't get stun locked. Simple, right? Or something. Let's go, don't stun me, please. Oh, look, two people are stunned. I'm so surprised. Oh, beautiful. And especially the important people. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, I guess we are going for it, boys and girls. Blind and daze them or s remove. Whatever. I need my book to take a turn. Oh, that hit like nothing. At least nobody got. Uh, Stun. You know what? I'm not even gonna talk. I'm just gonna concentrate because this is horrible. Oh yeah, she revived nobody in particular. Uh, I would like to remove her turn meter, but that's not gonna happen. they can assist oh my god why is she so tanky go away that's not good <laughs> and I actually don't want to kill Talvin because then she comes back with her plague and is annoying and stop stop that thank you <laughs> but I will kill Talvin anyway because I'm scared <laughs> and now she will Ouch! Oh, right, coming back to the microphone. <laughs> Got a bit distracted there. Uh, yeah, that did not land. Uh, my banners again. Don't call Tal. Talzin. Wolf. That was with the cost. I will try to spread the damage a bit. Oh. That was unexpected, and I have full health, but not full protection. But you know what? I will take every victory I can get, because if I don't fuck up, I should be able to win. And look, it's a malevolence fleet. How beautiful. My screen is bugged. Um, five star hyena bomber, and guess what? I put my negotiator on defense, because I roll that way. And I thought... I don't know what I thought. I thought... I thought I'll figure it out. <laughs> so I'll have to watch a video for a malevolence mirror match, which I've never done. But look, it's my fleet payout, so I can practice. Perhaps. Actually, no, actually, I could use my own Hux. But I think I didn't Omega the leadership <laughs> because I thought I wouldn't need it and I didn't realize it's free versus free. Um, I don't have any experience with this mirror matches. Um, I still have bounty hunters. <sighs> bounty hunters is not really gonna do anything. You know what? We start with Super <laughs> I thought I would start with the easiest one, but guess not. Uh, and we need to kill nobody in particular. Because everybody in this team is a pleb. Uh, but perhaps it's kill this guy. And then we do this. And then he dead. And he will drain. But look, he had 5k or something. And that's fine. And he dead. Oh, look, he had another 5k. I'm so sad. And I want to say he dead, but he's not. And now not? Also not. But now he is. Goodbye. 55. Beautiful. Uh, Ray will be a bit more difficult. I don't want to get any of that spirit on me. Yeah, I can't risk it. 
I'll just have to go with it like this. I could have sworn there was something about something something can be revived. Go away with that assist. God. I don't really know. Then she can take a turn. Whoa, that dodge. Who? Oh, Kenobi. Kenobi gave her that. Maybe she actually can be revived and I'm wasting banners, but you know... I don't... You know, we're, we'll never find out the answer to that. Never. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, Vader lead. 246 speed, but guess what? My Vader is 250 speed. And guess what? I have more Sith and Empire anyway in my team. But it's always good when you're better modded than Bitcoin. 250, yes. <laughs> I could put Nihilus in there. I think Fron has more. He can also recover. It's sad that Nihilus is gonna be on the bench, but unless he can fly to the Malevolence, there's nothing we can do about it. Let's see, so we put debuffs on Sith Empire Trooper, then we can put the Merciless thing, and then we can ability block somebody, because I don't have the Zeta because I'm stingy, and that's why I get matched with people like this, so that I can obliterate them with my two Galactic Legends, thank you. Okay, let's go. Um, right. I expected Vader to go first, but that's okay. That's better actually. We do this, we do that. That's not good. <laughs> As one does. Uh, we will do. Mm, can I stun him? Mm, probably not. Can I crit the shit? God damn it. That was bad. That was really bad. That was really unlucky as well. And we need to not post that. Oh, great. Thank you, Mr. Emperor. What was this? How even... Like, he's not even modded for tenacity. That's 46%. I had a hundred something. I had a hundred something and that didn't work. I am... Salty. Look at that. Look at that. A hundred percent potency. And then plus thirty-five percent and something also from something else. Yeah. Sad. Very sad. And he has he even modded for potency. Look at that. 73% and didn't land any dots, any speed down, any ability block. You know. You know what? It is what it is. So according to inside information, Ashen has attacked. And let's take a look at the board. So uh, took out quite a lot of stuff there. Uh, I guess you've already seen what. Now this puts us in a really tight matchup and it's something I enjoyed when we initially shared our front wall defense with each other. It looked like it was gonna be pretty close and it's proving to be. Now I still need to get through a lot of teams, but uh, I'm happy that at least one of my teams ended up holding. This was really difficult with the double Galactic Legends just being able to take out whatever. Uh, and I actually thought it was going to be the uh, Night Sister team that would hold against her Geos because I was almost certain she would use that. Uh, but that didn't end up being the case. So yeah. So first team I'll attack is the First Order. Uh, for the First Order I'll be using my Ray Jedi training with the Resistance Heroes. I just want to quickly check because I get a fair bit of speed from Kylo Ren Mast. So he would definitely stun someone uh, as he goes ahead of pretty much everyone on my team. Kylo Ren here would get Retribution for sure. 
and then this guy here would do a fair bit of damage. So actually, it's gonna be a lovely start. Uh, I can outspeed them with Rage Edit Training BB-8 R2, but feels a bit risky as well. I think I'll do that instead though, because otherwise I'm just gonna get hammered pretty hard. And at least this way I have a chance at controlling them. Uh, I might end up regretting this really hard. As a Sith Trooper is an absolute powerhouse, but uh, I think I'll have to go with this rather than my slow veterans, which, uh, sorry, my resistance heroes, which don't really do me any favors here. So I'll start with the burn. Okay, three exposes. Oh, yeah, those Sith Trooper assists are absolutely lethal. Oh boy, the cleanse. I didn't think he was going to take a turn this quickly. Yeah, I'm going to get wiped here in a sec. Pretty sure. Unless I can get a stun here on Sith Trooper. That's uh, probably my only hope. Um, although R2 is still going to take a turn before, so I can just do this. Uh, at least, too bad he didn't uh, assist there. That's actually a pity. Do this. Yeah, I'm going to lose this one. And that's going to cost me the match, pretty sure, because I don't think I'll be able to clear Ah, oh, that's really sad. Way to go down. Yeah, I didn't think the resistance heroes would do much better here, as uh, they would all go before me. But uh, looks like I really underestimated this one. They're turn meter loaded as well, I don't really care. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get through either way. Alright. Uh, yeah. I mean, I really don't mind losing to Ashen. If I lose to anyone, then I'd rather it be her, rather than some random person, I don't know. So uh, I'll just move on to the next match and take this one down. So Boba for the ability block. And Dengar to prevent Acolyte from stealthing at all. Yeah, pretty disappointing to uh, see it go that way. But Sith Trooper was a lot quicker than I uh, anticipated there. I thought I'd at least be able to get off another turn with... Uh, it was... Mm, that's not quite there yet with uh, R2 but I should have called him to assist to play it safe I thought I was fine though I uh, can execute her now nope that was too early what do I always say in the 5v5s to wait with that I don't know if it's great either all right that's the first kill get the contract off in a sec here Two turn ability block. Let's heal up. That should trigger the contract just about. There we go. Now it's a kill. Acolyte somehow keeps remaining in stealth, even though Dengar has been in stealth for a while now, I think. Not quite sure what that's about. Now she should be out. Yep. Uh, everyone's full. Non crit, but kill. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to see what I want to do with my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren then. I might not be able to beat the Finn team. Uh, I mean, like, I, I need to decide if I want to get through this Supreme Leader Kylo over here, what I still am able to use, and still get through the other teams. Not quite sure what options I have there. I uh, could also maybe try Nest against the Shark team. So even though Padme is kind of the preferred choice there, I think I'd rather still switch it up and use Nest against this team here. So I'll do Treya next in against their Padme team, because if that doesn't work, I have to come up with yet another plan. So let's see if I can still full clear here, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be a bit behind Ashen, unfortunately. Let's do these three. With Thrawn it would have been so much better, but again, the uh, losing that mirror in the beginning, that one uh, hurt quite a lot. So I'm going to start with the pain here. I thought of saving it, but... Uh, oh, this is actually interesting. If I isolate Padme here, I can prevent a lot of that stuff. GK doesn't have a lightsaber, wonderful. Uh, if I isolate him, however, then he won't be taunting and I can annihilate whoever I want towards the end. So that probably makes more sense. So I'll go with that. Oh man, he looks so ridiculous without a saber. Because now I can still drain. There shouldn't be too much protection up just yet. Uh, let's go for Jedi Knight Anakin and heal up a little bit. Uh, 
she doesn't have protection up, so I have a chance at ability blocking here, so let's try. And yeah, of course it doesn't land. Uh, this could significantly reduce my cooldowns. Oh yeah, I reduced her cooldowns. That's also pretty good. Let's go for him. Let's give him a bit of daze. Or not. Does he self-protection up? I can't even tell. Okay, there she goes. Now I can drain and it's probably gonna allow me to annihilate next. I could have also tried to dispel one of their stacks. That might have ended up being a smarter choice. But uh, I wasn't really too sure on that one. Let's try and hit her to reduce her stack so she doesn't get all the courage. Oh, come on. You've got to be joking me. You've got to absolutely be joking me. Well, that's the end of this one. Uh, I won't clear this team either. What I don't understand is how she still ended up with uh, 10 stacks of courage there. Because I reduced her to 4. And I figured reducing her to 4 would ensure that I uh, that she wouldn't get the double stack. Because it's per 5 stacks, I thought. But I'm probably mis misremembering this. Yeah, I'm not going to get through Padme, probably. Uh, let's do this and then take her out. I did, actually. Alright, well. Don't really foresee me getting through... All the other teams, either way. Um, but at least this one saves. It's just ugly banners, so just in case Ashen would still fail some kind of match, then... Uh, I'm still likely going to lose it on banners, but not too much I can do there. Alright. Also a good lesson though, that you can still win. I mean, she doesn't have the uh, the relics on Padme and Jananet Anakin, but still managed to get through that one. Then, yeah, alright, so against the Night Sisters, then, I'll be using my First Order. Gonna take a quick look. Uh, so it's gonna be either Phasma or First Order Officer. I think in that case, First Order Officer makes a bit more sense because he also hands out the tenacity up. Uh, I don't have any other good options, I think. I can try to put in Wampa to start smashing a bit, putting down some days, and then eventually build up. But I think he'd take too long, and I think Daka would likely get to him with the stuns. Uh, I could protect him for a good while. So it's not the worst option either. It might actually be better than First Order Officer. Because otherwise all of the damage comes from the Kylos. Which is not too good. Uh, so let's do that instead. And hope it pays off. It'll be a slow fight. But I think the other two can uh, keep each other alive long enough. And I just need Wampa to get a smash in. So let's give this a shot. The taunt gets dispelled, but I start by feeding turn meter. I can stun Daka so that she does not double stun me. And spirit goes for me. I get the smash and I needed that protection up so that I wouldn't instantly get messed up. That was a good hit. Nice. Okay, let's go for Daka first. There's not really any reason to go for the others because Daka will just bring them back. Keep feeding turn meter because I need to get my taunt back. Uh, let's do a basic for now with tenacity down uh, so that I can stun and just keep going for Daka. It's gonna take quite a while for sure. Keep stripping the foresight from spirit. Um, tempting to get a kill on Asajj here but she's gonna get brought back to life so there's no point. Let's stun her. I mean, I got it in the end, but it's just Kylo Ren being him. So let's go for this one. Bad idea, Spirit. Alright, uh, I should have actually gone for the taunt there, but still got the kill. Okay, so that was a good decision. Figured it would be okay. Then uh, I'm gonna first do the battle against the Finn team here, because if I fail that, which... I mean, there's a pretty good chance for it to fail because she's got very fast resistance heroes. So I'll likely just get hammered at the start. 
with all the turn meter swapping and they get the retribution, like the countering. So uh, I don't really foresee me winning this one. But the alternative is using Padme against the uh, first order team and I'm not too confident in that one either. So try to get through, so let's do this. Uh, <laughs> and I hope it's enough to survive. Consider me not confident. So let's see. I should probably bring Ahsoka, not C-3PO. And just figure something out against the veterans. Make something work. I don't have much left. But uh, yeah, no, I have to leave Ahsoka out. Let's try. Terrible idea, but let's try. Okay, they go for Padme. Oh my, this is starting awfully. Uh, I'm gonna call Padme in here so that she gets protection up. But Finn will probably already AoE my Jedi Knight Anakin out, so it's likely the end over here. Uh, oh wow, I got the turn before him. I will happily take that. But that's all of my protection up stacks gone instantly, so... That's not really getting me anywhere either. Oof. Yeah, this is a, a painful endeavor. Alright, let's get a kick in. Of course resisted. Uh, let's push the turn meter back on Finn a bit because... I mean, he's gonna take a turn before me, I already know. And he's gonna cleanse, so... That's probably the end, yeah. Thought so. Oh well. Uh, might as well back out. I mean... I could do an AoE here, it's gonna drop a bit of protection on Finn and then he will get it right back, so there's absolutely no point. Yeah, too bad. It's just a matter of choices, trying to make something work, and if they would have gone for anyone else at some point it might have looked different. So I'll just go through this with Supreme Leader Kylo. Again, I can try the resistance heroes to see how it goes, but I kind of know the answer. I'll just get a stun locked and sort of barraged out before I get much of a chance, since there's two stuns on the team. There's the cleanse, there's uh, just a bit too much. So I'll just get through it, try to get as many banners as possible. It doesn't even really matter what I do here, I'll just uh, autoplay it. He's gonna do his thing, but yay. Alright. So that's a pretty sad way to use your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. That's I'll go through the Poe team here. Send in my Finn, my resistance heroes. Ah, everyone got ability blocked, of course. That's definitely gonna be because... Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna take a turn, am I? Okay, so I can't swap here to Bo, because he has Daze, so it's not going to do anything. So I sh I'm going to swap to Finn here, even though it's less ideal. He can at least cleanse and taunt. So that's something. And then I can try and take out Veteran Smuggler Chewie. Or succeed at it. He's gone, and then do that. And that. And then at least Finn has full protection. So that still works. And then this team, I mean, I've got nothing. I can try to send in some junk, but it shouldn't really do anything. Maybe there's like a tiny chance that Droidica could... Nah, they would just dispel it. I can do something. I'll, I'll, I'll throw something in. Why not? See what it does. So something creative. L3, old Ben, I guess. L3 and Droidica. They're going to take a bunch of turns. Uh, question is, does Finn's AoE dispel? I don't even remember. I think it just does a lot of damage. Spell debuffs from all allies, rally all... Yeah, no, it doesn't debuff. So maybe if I can shoot at the leader, I can have a good laugh. Hold Ben lead for some extra evasion. L3 and... Separatist, where are you? Droidica. No idea if I'm gonna take a turn, but we'll see. Okay, so... oh boy. Well then... I'm so gonna get the Dispelled. There it goes. Ah, oh, that's the other move. Okay, so I've got five whole stacks. I am a very lucky guy. 
So I watch Finn lose like a third of his protection. Well, all of it. It's something. Alright. Alright, well, I'll go for the fleet then. Negotiator mirror match. Uh, let's put in Scoundrel, Houndstooth, Galactic Republic. Put in these, and then I guess I can put the Y Wing in backup. And I'll just go for the full fleet, it doesn't really matter, there's not too much to save here anyway. And it's also still a matter of winning this one and not messing it up. So I get the first round of attacks. No buff immunity on me there, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna start and do the AoE days here. Of course, Ahsoka dodged that, that's lovely. Now they're gonna reapply the loyalty, but my goal here will be to get ahead a little bit with the... Uh, can, am I gonna remember the name? The Valor? There we go. So I'll call him Blow, boost the turn meter. And Ashen's gonna finish up after this, but I mean, even if she doesn't kill my remaining team, she's still gonna win, because I was just not efficient at all on whatever was left there. Uh, this could end up being a bit ugly because I'm not taunting and the Y-Wing is gonna have some fun with me all right that's a bit more comfortable there we go finally took a while for blow to come back around do this one that you mm, I thought it was gonna kill There go the banners. Um, I can just call in my Y wing here. I feel like that makes. Although Ahsoka can kill Anakin, that's more tempting. Just wait for a good hit on Ahsoka where I don't get retributed. Oh boy, oh boy. No AoE. That's uh, lucky. Let's kill her now. Although, generally what I see when fives get brought in, even if there's a bunch of target locks, for whatever dumb reason, they don't make him AoE. Which is, uh, I think, a pity, but he'll do it in a sec, though. No? That's just broken. Should have gotten wiped there. Even though I have my unending loyalty, I'd be okay. Yeah, 60 banners is really ugly, but that's cleared. Uh, anything I want to send in on the Finn team still, for fun? I'm just gonna hand it back over to Ash and then she can wrap it up. Okay, so we start with the ships because I just did some battles in Arena and I feel the most comfortable with that. I saw what Bitcoin did. I'm not yet super convinced of my winning or not because I'm not sure what I'm gonna clear the Hawks team with. But yeah, let's go. Mm, technically, I shouldn't need your soldier there, but better save than sorry. I don't need to risk it. I kept flow specifically because I wanted to uh, be able to recover my banners. So he wasn't in the reinforcements in the negotiator, you might have noticed. I thought that wouldn't make that much of a difference in the end. Yes, they go for my vulture, that's amazing. That's not amazing. That's also not amazing. Effort. <laughs> well. Uh, let's see then. Hopefully on something good. No, that's not very really good.
Nothing we can do about that, and that's gonna boot the terminator of uh, the cruiser ship. Oh, beautiful dodge, what can I say? I didn't get to call him blow, so that was pretty bad banners. But it is how it is, and now the real fun begins. Yeah, you know, I just feel more confident in this one. I can keep debating it for uh, half an hour, but I've already debated it a little bit when we're doing his stuff. And for the other team, the initial plan was bounty hunters, and then I realized my bounty hunters are gear 12 and 11, and his Hux is Relic 5+, plus, like the whole team. So that's not gonna work. Um, so the alternative was fast money. Actually... Okay, wait, I'll just, you know, I'll concentrate on one battle at a time. That's great. That's great, great, great. That's not so great though. Oh, look at that beautiful Relic 7 BB-8, who's carrying this team like a hero, unlike some people are too. God damn it. <laughs> look at that beautiful dodge. Wiggle, wiggle. Uh, this doesn't reduce his turn meter, but at least gives him speed down or something. So I made it, ba barely, to be honest, but um, you know. A win is a win. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. And now... I mean, I'm seven banners ahead, so this is a win. But I have some stuff going, maybe, hopefully. Um, the problem is Fox. I could send in bounty hunters, they shouldn't have enough damage, but Fox is just gonna wreck me into another era. So what I'm gonna try to do is in a way mirror it because Hux only stops counters and he stops turn meter gain. And Fasman Lee doesn't have either of those. It has assists. Hopefully something happens. If not, you know, I try. <laughs> Look at those bucket heads. So pretty. So they start, uh, as expected, they do that, uh, I didn't expect them to do both of those, but this would dispel if I remember correctly, and that dispels, I can't gain 50% turn meter, I cannot gain that, oh, oh, this is where we put that. Okay, well, that did not work. <laughs> this is kind of what I was worried about, so... Yeah, Hawk's lead would be great if I put his Omega on him, but... Uh, being stingy come with, comes with its uh, own disadvantages, I would say. So I'm gonna throw my Ewoks at it eventually, I guess, because we don't give up in this household. Okay. That is arguably not bad. Um, he will counter, which I really don't like. He can really stop that. Stun, that's pretty nice. He hits so hard. It's really not cool. Oh wow. Um, I mean, do I think I can execute anybody? No. Do I still want to and try to press my phone? Okay, no, let's not do it the fourth time. Alternatives. We still have Nihilus and Cyan, which... And Salbar. Um, I mean, we are 15 relics behind them, but never know 
where the victory jumps from. <laughs> I don't have any other leader other than yeah, that's that's gonna have to be it. Uh, what am I doing? I don't even know. Yo, please don't do that. Thank you. He's already half health. I'm loving. Solvar is dead. And that's gonna be the fourth force crush. I, I mean, Hermit Yoda or Old Bender. Yeah, let's just. What does Old Bender do again? 15% evasion. That is superior to Ahsoka, which is 14% evasion. <laughs> okay, upgrades. Upgrades. I'm feeling confident about this one. I'm not. I'm really not. Don't go for Jolie. Don't. Okay. My Jolie is dead. I guess we can dispel this guy that did absolutely no damage. Absolutely no damage. Actually, they can't gain bonus turn meter because of Hux lead. So, my upgrades. Oh. Um, another. Yeah, this is gonna be the last thing I try. Just. to at least not see all these relics in my roster that feel like they were wasted, perhaps? Okay, not okay. That was going great until it didn't go great anymore, but... Um, oh, no, he just attacked too much already. It was a good try. And I think I'll just leave it at this. Didn't want to crash the phone one more time. Yeah, I really want to do another try, but I should just stop. <laughs> I'm just really stubborn. And I still have Chewie. Mm -hmm. So... Just... Can you go for literally anybody else? Thank you. God. Bam. No debuffs to this bow. Hey! Killed somebody! Oh. Uh. I don't know how I feel about that. Never give up. That's what I always say. Ow. Ow. Am I supposed to kill him with Akbar now? Oh, I missed the button. Oh. Hey, Akbar. Oh my god! I killed him! I can't believe I killed him with Akbar! That's why you never give up. This is a life lesson um, from yours truly. Thank you for watching wrap up the match uh, I guess we both won because I like I said at the start I have a happy girlfriend now so uh, even though I lost I also won something uh, I'm glad she full cleared me in the end because otherwise I was behind by seven banners and it would have been pretty lame to lose to a coin flip on Rex uh, as happened there to start with General Skywalker mirror but there was no way I was gonna get through that uh, resistance hero team in the back after I had to use up Thrawn with uh, the cleanup there and the pilots as well which was a bit of an expensive cleanup but I didn't really want to lose too much more there 
So congratulations to Ashen. I hope it was entertaining for you and have like I have to shorten the whole thing quite a bit as it's pretty lengthy and a lot of thinking about stuff but uh, hope you enjoy the end result and uh, see you all again soon for another week of Grand Arena.